scene opens with a dramatic slow motion shot from a popular dinosaur movie, featuring a large, scaly velociraptor, then abruptly cuts to a scientifically accurate illustration of a turkey's ice-feathered velociraptor. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. When you hear the name velociraptor, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Is it a six-foot-tall, scaly, super-intelligent pack hunter from the movies? For decades, Hollywood has given us this terrifying image. But what if I told you the truth is not only different but, in many ways, far more incredible. Today, we re peeling back the layers of fiction to uncover the real swift robber of the late Cretaceous. Let's start with the most obvious difference, size. Forget those kitchen-sized movie monsters. The real velociraptor stood no taller than a large turkey, about half a meter high, and weighed around 15 to 20 kilograms. It was a lightweight predator, built for speed and agility, not for smashing through doors. And its skin, it wasn't scaly like a lizard, fossil discoveries, specifically quill knobs found on its arm bones, provide undeniable proof that Velociraptor was covered in feathers. Imagine a creature that looked more like a bizarre, toothy bird of prey than a giant reptile. While it couldn't fly, these feathers likely helped with balance, display, and keeping its eggs warm. So, if it was small, what made it so deadly? The answer lies in its feet. Each foot sported a large, sickle-shaped claw, about 6.5 centimeters long. For years we thought this was for slashing and disemboweling prey, However, modern analysis suggests a different, more precise function. The current theory is that Velociraptor would leap onto its prey, using its body weight to pin the animal down. That terrifying claw would then act like a grappling hook, restraining the struggling victim while the Velociraptor used its sharp teeth to finish the job, likely targeting vulnerable spots like the throat. It was a master of precision killing. What about its famous intelligence and pack hunting behavior? While Velociraptor was certainly smart for a dinosaur, its intelligence was probably closer to that of a modern hawk or eagle, not a supatinius. The idea of them setting complex traps is pure fiction. As for pack hunting, the evidence is shaky. While they might have gathered in loose groups to take down larger animals, much like Komodo dragons do today, it's more likely they were opportunistic hunters, sometimes solitary, sometimes cooperating. The famous fighting dinosaurs fossil, showing a velociraptor locked in a life-or-death struggle with a prodosauratops, gives us a breathtaking snapshot of its fierce, predatory nature. It wasn't an evil monster, but a highly efficient hunter perfectly adapted to its environment. The real velociraptor was a feathered, turkey-sized, agile predator that used its killer claw not to slash, but to pin. It was an evolutionary marvel whose true story is a powerful testament to nature's ingenuity. It wasn't a movie monster, but something far more fascinating, a real animal. Surviving and thriving in a world we can only begin to imagine. Thank you so much for joining me on this prehistoric journey. If you enjoyed uncovering the truth about the Velociraptor, please hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of dinosaurs. Let me know in the comments which prehistoric creature you want to see us tackle next. See you in the next video.